Hey guys, so I am here with the beautiful Molly Sims in her gorgeous home, thank you for having me. And we just did an awesome video that is up on her channel, you have to go check it out. But today we are talking about the joys and pains of volunteering at school. <laughs> I know you have stories. Oh, I have some stories. <laughs> Welcome to our YouTube channel. Okay, so you have a five-year-old I have son, a five-year-old, a two-year-old, two and a, almost a six-month-old. Okay, so you are in it with your first two. I'm in it with my first two. My little boy goes to a Montessori school. With um, like my kids, Like yeah. Dominic. Like Dominic. Um, so Montessori, very involved, a lot of parent involvement, um, which is great. Mm -hmm. And I think your daughter goes to a little church school. Yes, a Catholic um, school, yeah. And we go to, oh, hello, Scarlett. Hi. We go through <laughs> a mommy and me. And I will tell you, why is there automatic pressure as a parent? Like, in the volunteering. Because like, I feel like there's always those moms that just want to do everything and, and, and put the pressure on other parents. And maybe they're not trying to do it uh, on purpose, but they right. just set the bar so high that you feel like, oh my God, you know, I, I have to do that or I, you know, I feel bad missing and it's so much pressure. We, we have this book and it's called, it, we, every kid, so if you have one kid, then you have to do one week. If you have two kids in the program, you have to do two weeks of snack week. And the snack week is no joke. Like there's a book, there's pictures. You have to make a whole thing of what you're gonna bring. Um, pictures. Pic pictures of like, I mean. You can't like, just write down. What you you can, to. but if you look at other people's pages oh. for the week. Yeah. See, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So snack week is a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. And snack week is pressure. Snack like week saying is that pressure. out loud. Saying that out crazy. loud is a little bit of a level of insanity, <laughs> but it's true. And it's not even a competition, but you just find yourself right. stressed. Like I will never forget Brooks coming home and I was snack mom, so that's morning and afternoon. So 15 snacks in the morning, 15 oh snacks in the God, in the evening. And how come they just don't have the parents pack their own kids' snacks? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But then, so I had snack week for the whole week. Picked him up, left the afternoon snack. He came home and he said, uh, I got snacks for tonight. Mommy. I was like, what are you talking about? And he Mommy. goes, oh, he, someone called Mommy. me like an hour Mommy. later saying that he Mommy. volunteered for me to be snack mom that night. I'm Brooks like, volunteered yeah. for you. I, I started crying. I started crying over snacks. I'm not lying Because to. you weren't equipped with enough snacks or you didn't? I don't know, just the stress of like, I don't know, it's like the volunteering and then it's like yeah. you're doing it and then you want to do it great and then you're like, Mommy. well, Sarah did it like this and Jessica did it like that. So I'm like, well, maybe I should pick this country and we could do, you know, croissants from France. Snacks like, around the globe. Snacks around yeah. the globe. Okay, well, that sounds, I'm stressed just talking about it. Mm -hmm. I don't even go there. That's stressful. <laughs> At Dominic School, there's parties that they tell you like three weeks in advance and you sign up for. And the one party happened to be today. I saw on Instagram as I'm sitting in traffic, one of the other moms at the school posted her son in the, it's a luau party. And he was in his luau shirt. And she said, look how cute my boy looked today at the luau party. Well, I thought it was tomorrow. I signed up for vegetables. So Dominic went to school without vegetables and no luau shirt. So I feel like the worst mom today. So the I immediately worst. sent an email apologizing. It's they're not the so end of the world. Not, he doesn't not, know. But it's but, stressful. But it's stressful. So we have this whole thing called Sign Up Genius. And I know you moms out there know what it is. So in the beginning, I didn't really realize, like you said, like there are different parties and different things you can volunteer. Right. So when the Sign Up Genius comes on your in email, they're like, Slot number one, slot number two, Valentine's holiday. You said slot number one. <laughs> I mean, slot number two. Slot. <laughs> slot number one, slot number two. And literally, you have to do it and press send. Yeah. And so by the time I finally got on to the sign up genius, I'd be like slot number 19. Like, I'd be like some random, like, Finnish holiday that we're celebrating and I'm the volunteer right. because no one wants to do that. Right, right, right. So I realized that as soon as I see the sign up genius, I'm like, I mean, literally, like, I have been in mid-conversation. I've seen it out of the corner of my... I take... I'm like, excuse me. And I'm like, this. <laughs> That's how crazy. Well, we have... At Gia School, it's not Sign Up Genius. It's called School Speak. <laughs> so, and, and I felt like an idiot when Gia first started at this Catholic school because I didn't have to really do anything at, Dom, at her old Montessori right. where Dominic goes besides the parties. Um, and so all these things were happening. The School Speak and... and 
um, they have an Instagram for her class where you can upload pictures where only the parents can see and it's all these things. So I was always asking questions which you should never feel stupid asking questions but I felt stupid because a lot of these parents had been there for preschool. Right. So they knew, uh, you know, but I just kept my kids G and, and the Montessori because I loved the program right. so much. Me too. I, I would have had her graduate college there if I could, but they told me that wasn't an option. So when she went there, I just didn't know anything. I, I don't know about Teacher Appreciation Week and all these things. Oh, yeah. So there's so many things to volunteer. And then I was asked to be a homeroom mom. So my sister-in-law a long time ago told me, if you don't have time, don't be a homeroom mom. I, I ha politely said no because I just can't. <laughs> I can't, no? I, I can't next year. I can't do what they need me to do, and I feel bad. I, w I would. I forgot my son's party today, <laughs> and he hardly has anything going on at the school. I get emails from them all the time, which is amazing. But I, I would forget. I'd be the worst. So how did you say no? I just said that I can't with my schedule I would be terrible I would be honestly okay, I honestly I would be terrible but I volunteer as much as I can and if I don't go I send my mom right um, and if they need Grammy a Grammy aka Grammy everyone knows her there's Grammy um, so I'm very involved it's just that next step that I just don't want to disappoint people so why do you think we put so much pressure but there is pressure there like, is pressure people think oh you're making it up there is it like when your kids are in school it's game on like yeah volunteering whether it be signing up for things making sure they have this you know europe week south america week greece you <laughs> have vacation week we do not. sabbatical week <laughs> i also think a lot for me is self-imposed yeah you know i think i want to do the best i can and I feel guilty when I can't, so then I overcompensate, the and then I'm like, right. and then I try to be like, oh, I don't care, but then I really care. So I think, you know, it's just trying to find that balance of caring and not caring, and then not letting little things stress me out. Mm -hmm. Or if someone says something like, oh my God, I totally missed, like you said, you missed a whole, you know, he missed being dressed up, mm -hmm. and you're like, how could I, you know, how I feel I, terrible. I know. I feel terrible. It's hard. And then um, there's been times where G has been sad that I wasn't able to be there. But then there's also been times where I go there and she doesn't want me there. I'm like, <laughs> make up your mind, know. you know? So there's just, because I'm that mom who's, don't run like that, you know, don't do the monkey bars. Because I'm always, what if you fall? What if you fall? So Are if you I'm the not there, mom? I'm not a helicopter mom. No, I can, cannot stand a helicopter mom. <laughs> that's, I'm sorry. that's another story. I am not a helicopter mom. But, if I, if I see her from afar, I'll be like, Gia, stop doing that or whatever, you know? Don't do that. <laughs> I'm not a helicopter mom. Stop it. <laughs> so with all of that, we're just here to tell you that it can be stressful. And it it can is be stressful. stressful. Whether it's self-imposed or, or not, exactly, it's Exactly, which I think a lot of it is self-imposed. But how did our parents do it? I mean, my mom just put me on a bus, <laughs> sent me to school, and waited for me to come home. I know. So we want to hear some of your stories. Tell us if you can relate, which I know a lot of you can. And just tell us that we're not crazy. We want to hear that we're not we, crazy. We want to hear that we're yeah. not crazy. We want to hear that you stress over <laughs> snacks. <laughs> over snack week. <laughs> just as much and as And luau we do. parties. <laughs> so we just did a really fun video over on Molly's channel. Never ever. Things we never ever thought we would do as ever. moms. Ever. ever. <laughs> and, and we do. Um, so go over there and check it out. And please subscribe. Like us. And like, like us. us. Like us. Please like us. <laughs>